So, we march on to Swansea next. Uh, what's happening, guys? It's your boy TC back with another video. So, this is just a match preview for the game upcoming at the Emirates with against Swansea. And that's going to be at 3 p.m. on the Saturday coming. And um, basically, we are seeking our second win out of two in the Premier League. Uh, last time out, we obviously faced Everton and we were 5 2 winners on the day. And that was our first away win of the season. And that basically says a lot. Of course, we went to what? and um, that was a horrendous, horrendous loss to us. But we march on and uh, as mentioned that we will be facing Swansea at the Emirates on Saturday. So just jumping straight into the uh, predicted start in 11 for this game. I'm expecting Petr Cech to return in goal after the Carling Cup match or a Carabao Cup I should say. Um, that we obviously came out 2-1 winners thanks to Edin Katia with his two brilliant goals. Uh, both from set pieces. So hopefully I'd like to see um, a bit more of Eddie in the near future. But going back onto the, uh, the central defensive uh, players that will be featuring on Saturday, I'm expecting Holding to be playing uh, due to the fact that um, Mustafi is currently injured. I'm also expecting uh, Per Mertesacker to feature yet again, uh, as well as Nacho Monreal, who's been playing at centre-back um, for a number of games now. Uh, with the wing-backs, uh, this is based on the fact that we will be playing the three at the back formation. With the wing-backs, I'm expecting uh, Kolasinac to come back into the team, as well as Hector Bellerin, which is a no-brainer at the back. Uh, in the middle, uh, Shaka was impressive um, in the second half at Everton, but he's been really poor this whole season. If you want to look at the whole season as an overall, he has not been that great. So I'm assuming Wenger will reinstate Shaka in the middle, as well as Aaron Ramsey. And up front, we're going to see AOL, which is um, Alexis, Ozil and Lacazette. They played absolutely amazing together last week uh, when we faced Everton and hopefully we can see more of the same when we face Swansea at the Emirates. Uh, we have faced Swansea about 23 times in total so far and uh, we've won tw uh, 12 of those games so it's it's just under the 50% uh, win ratio against Swansea. They've won eight games against us uh, overall and we've drawn three against them so um, fingers crossed we can secure the three points to maintain the pressure on the top four. I know Chelsea have been a bit stop and start as well as top Tottenham, they are due to start losing some games or start to draw some games. Of course, we know that they've got a, um, a very, very good striker on their case. But um, I'm hoping that they will start to drop points sometime soon. And obviously, we can make the ground up as well as uh, catch up with Man United and teams like that. Of course, City are far into the distance. Um, I don't think we'll be catching them anytime soon. And I doubt they'll be having a blip anytime soon. So that is my expected 11. Um, of course, I want to see... Um, I'd want to see some different players within the middle, uh, in particular in midfield, just to refresh uh, the team and a bit of creativity going forward. Of course, we have Aaron Ramsey, who likes to go forward quite a lot. But when it comes down to defensive duties, he's not that great. Um, I'd like to see Wenger start Jack Wilshere. Simple as that. He didn't have a great game at Norwich. It wasn't the best performance, but he did perform and he nearly lasted the uh, the whole 120 minutes up until the point he was substituted. So hopefully Wenger can go ahead and actually give Jack Walsh a Premier League start. We've been reading a lot about his fitness levels. We've been reading a lot about his training and all the other stuff that comes along with it. But would like to see, uh, I would like to see him personally in the Premier League get a brilliant start for us. And of course, uh, hopefully bag a goal for us. So fingers crossed, Venga will be brave enough to give Jack a start. And uh, in terms of um, in terms of the defence, I have a few concerns, of course. Uh, per Motosaka, um, of course, he performed at Everton. Uh, he had to do the job. But faced with an on-form Swansea team or a team apart from Swansea itself, faced with another team that may potentially cause or pose a, uh, a different attacking threat, we may struggle a little bit. So I think Fingers crossed, we're going to have Mustafi back fit soon. Uh, just to talk about an, another injury within the first team itself, we also have uh, Danny Welbeck who's still missing. He came back briefly from an injury and unfortunately he had to go back onto the treating room, back into the treating room uh, to get these injury niggles sorted out. My sincerest apologies, I shouldn't have mentioned Perma Asaka. We have Koscielny, uh, 
Um, that is very, very bad of myself. Uh, so Koscielny should be coming back in. So I'm assuming we'll see holding Koscielny uh, as well as Monreal at the back slash Permo Asaka. So yeah, that is my predicted back um, my back three at the back for Arsenal on Saturday. As usual, guys, please do let me know what your thoughts are in the comments below. 